Data East Classics. Data East Classics wheel. Let's see if we start. No numbers. So we're going to start with the letter A. Data East is one of those. It's head on. Alpha Fighter head on. Okay. Data East is. A, I, I want to think of them as like sort of like more of the late, later 80s, maybe in the, even into the 90s. I didn't see them a lot, but I saw them more like when I was in college. Um, like Robocop game or uh, Midnight, I think Midnight Raiders. Midnight Raiders, was it? Oh, but a lot of these games I don't really recognize. Um, bad Dudes, obviously I recognize Bad Dudes. Bad Dudes versus Dragon. Okay, so I guess this isn't actual Bad Dudes. Um, speaking of like games that, that may not have been made by the, by the original people, I never realized until looking into this kind of stuff that that um, Miss Pac-Man was not made by the same company as Pac-Man. I'm still kind of trying to figure out how they got away with that, but... Because some people could argue that Miss Pac-Man is an even more popular game than Pac-Man is. Um, breakthrough? Yeah, so bur Burger Time. Okay, Burger Time, I like Burger Time a lot. Actually, what I call... Pla I know they're not platform games, I think, you know, but... What I consider platform games, like, well, there's a, like, looks like that's the, more of the burger time that we're used to seeing. The, um, like, Mario, Mario, or Kangaroo, or Popeye, those, like, that's what I think of, like, platform games. But I like, I like burger time a lot. You know, shoots, the shoots and ladders games or whatever. Um, burger time's kind of fun. But I'm still not, those those kind of games are a little bit on the puzzly side. And again, I'd rather just shoot things, blow things up. A lot of these games I do not recognize at all. And a lot of them are just such rip-off games. Like, okay, so Cobra Command, like here's a perfect for Cobra Command could be Radius, Chopper thing, you know, to all, Commando, Cobra, this, that, or the other thing. And they just, there's so many. Well, it's kind of like Hollywood was and is still, you know, they just, a lot of, the, you know, one success is followed by a million copycats. <laughs> Says the person that, that, you know, was, was, was in the independent movie business for, for years and, you know, Napoleon Dynamite, we could be the next Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> Disco number cassette. I wonder if they mean by the cassette loaded. Cassette loaded games? I remember those. America Online, remember the, the, the BOD modem hookups and you'd hear that <laughs> stuff that would sound like, you know, um, like a car wreck or like, you know, metal being, you know, metal being twisted and, and crashed around and, nope, it's just, they're loading a program. It might take 20 minutes for a program to load into, with a cassette deck, cassette player would literally sonically load into a program. It's so cool. I mean, now it would be, you'd be like, are you kidding me? Go slop. These kind of puzzle games, just not really into them. Heavy Barrel, I remember Heavy Barrel. I don't remember from where, but I remember Heavy Barrel. Wow, it, I, it was probably in that arcade at, at college where I played the three-dimensional Tetris that I actually found somewhere, and now I forget where I found it. I, maybe it was in the Atari Classics. That was actually kind of fun. But I like spatial stuff like that. Puzzle, you know, like matching three three colors and all of that stuff doesn't really... Kamikaze Cabby. It's fun. Karate Champ. All right, so Karate Champ was one of those games that I actually played quite a bit. Maybe because, oh, it was it was one of the first fighting games that I remember. It was sort of before, like, Bad Dudes and all that stuff. But it was also kind of like, you know, on a, on, a, on an evening where it was really popular, uh, or, you know, Friday or Saturday night, popular game, you might not get on there. There might be somebody on there that's really good, or there might be a whole row, row of quarters. There's a big wait list to get on the game. And um, this looks like another Xevious or something. Well, not Xevious, I guess. Lock and Chase. I've done a Lock and Chase. I did Lock and Chase for this channel already. Did not really like the game. That looks like Galaxian meets Road Blasters. <laughs> uh, checking to make sure we're still recording. My GoPro that loves to overheat on me. 
Metal Clash. That game looks very clunky. Midnight Resistance, there it is. So Midnight Resistance, played a lot of this in a college town arcade. Small little arcade, maybe, maybe 20 machines in it. Very small, and it had that, and it had, um, I think Cabal, which I really was never really into, but Midnight Resistance I kind of liked. Every once in a while I'd play, play those, those kind of, those kind of, um, horizontal sort of, I don't know what you would call them, but. Nitro Ball! <sighs> and then some of these that, that Performan, per, Performan, Performan. Um, you, you run into this a lot, and the main stuff is, um, you, you'll run into, um, stuff that was released in other countries that, that was never released in America, and some of it doesn't even have any kind of English on it. It's, it's all, like, I'm assuming Japanese most of the time, but might be Korean or Chinese in there as well, but stuff that was just never left the, the native country. It never got global distribution or whatever. So good. Robocop! There we go. Robocop Midnight Resistance. That was all part of that that arcade that I played in. So I would play this kind of stuff, but only out of necessity. But if they had Galaga and it was free, I'd be playing Galaga before I'd be playing those kind of games. Scrum try. Scrum? Oh, is that a soccer? Oh no, is that that looks like rugby, really? Wow! Is that and cassette? So a rugby game loaded by cassette. Um, something your grandchildren will enjoy, even if you're in your teens. Your grandchildren might enjoy that. <laughs> wow, why do I remember this game? Shootout? Oh, those games, that, the one game or the, the, the one of two games that, that are in the pizza place or something like that, that while you're waiting for your order or something, you'll stick a quarter in it and, and play that you would never, never be caught dead. Like the foods that you'll eat on a picnic or something like that. Good sly spy. Wow. What is that, Rolling Thunder <laughs> with parachutes? <laughs> uh, this never really, it just didn't really get, I just, because there was so much you could do, especially baseball. How do you do baseball? without a lot of AI doing stuff for you. There's just so many decisions to make in a baseball game within any play to try to put all that into a... I just couldn't do it. So you can imagine Atari baseball, which was like, oh, you, you could only bunt. Anything else was an instant out. Like Atari 2600 baseball. I'm talking, baseball with a, with a joystick and a, and a red button, man, that took imagination. That took quite, quite the imagination. Super doubles. I, speaking of the guy that says, I've never played sports games, I played a lot of Virtua Tennis. I love Virtua Tennis. I, I spent many uh, an allowance and paper root money, paper root quarters, on Virtua Tennis. Well, probably by the time Virtua Tennis came out, I didn't have the paper root anymore, but... The real Ghostbusters. Thunder Zone. So Data East, I, I'm, just, I'm, st I'm just not... I know I'm not paying a huge amount of attention here, but... Um, I'm just not seeing a lot of a lot of games that I that I remember even hearing about, much less seeing and you know and then not playing. I you know I, I saw that game all the time. I just never played it. I didn't even see the games, and I didn't. I wasn't one of those kids that had like you know the the you know the 2600 you know or why well, I, I don't think they call it a 2600 then, but didn't have all the game magazines. I was never that that guy. I was never that much kind of a gamer. I just loved arcades. Paper Trail versus TKO Boxing. Why does this remind me of a of a boxing game that I where you were a little guy and not the and not the ported uh, Punch Out, but actually its own game. This actually looks kind of fun for somebody that says I don't like sports games, but that looks kind of fun. Sports game. I don't know, something about like future future volleyball where I'm sure somebody pulls out a, a laser gun or something like that. Just how like Mario Kart, you know, was, was a racing game, but you could throw things at people. It was like racing dodgeball with Yoshi or something. But then this kind of stuff that tries to be real is just, ugh. Too much time, it's like 10 yard fight. It's just like 
the football game that takes three years and not three hours. And it looks like we're gonna end it with Zor! Soar with a Z! Looks like Snore without the N. And we're back. Data East Classics.